All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is Richard Reviews Children's Books, and today I have for you Rosie the Dragon and Charlie Say Goodnight by Lauren A Lauren H. Kirsten? I'm so bad with names. I truly am. Before I get to that, let me remind you that, of course, for every thousand subscribers I get, I will purchase one of these wonderful bracelets from the company 4Ocean. And when I do this, 4Ocean will pull a pound of trash out of the ocean or off of our coastline. So, I am being an environmentalist. Anyway, on to Rosie the Dragon. I believe this is one of a series. There are many Rosie books. And I love dragons, especially nice, nice, fun, fat dragons, because I relate to them. And you can see that uh, Rosie and Charlie have a wonderful relationship. They play together, and then they get ready for bed together. And it talks about the virtues of brushing your teeth and putting on the right bedclothes and all those sorts of things. In fact, if there is a real-life Rosie, I think Rosie was a dog. Because I had a Doberman that was just like Rosie... He was terrible in, in storms, and, you know, he needed to have his uh, his blankie with him when he slept. I probably shouldn't have given him a pink blankie because he was a big, bad Doberman, but uh, he dogs are colorblind, so he didn't notice. Anyway, again, this is a really fun book. It is a really, you know, quick read. I actually wish it was longer because I would have enjoyed it more. The only complaint I really have about this fact, this book, in fact, is that it could have been longer because I would have really enjoyed to read more. Excellent author here, a lot of fun. Also, you know, she talks about lotion after a shower, which is something I didn't know about until I was in my 20s. Had a fellow security guard talk to me about lotion, but yeah. You know, this book is an excellent read with rich, beautiful colors it starts out brighter and ends darker, which makes it a good bedtime story. Again, I prefer bedtime stories to be a little on the long side because the longer they are, the, the more children tend to, to nod off. But then that's just me. That's just my experience. If you're a parent, I'd like to hear what you think otherwise. You know, and again, I would have loved this book as a kid. I'm kind of sad that I only have a digital copy now. If I ever have a child, I might actually buy uh, a real-life copy to read them in bed because it's such a fine, fun little book. I mean, it's not earth-shaking, I understand that, but really, you know, this is, this is my jam. This is, I'm an adult who would have seen this at the bookstore and wanted to buy it. And I read it, and I wish I had a, a copy in hand. I wish I could get a signed copy from the author, which is something, you know, if I ever became famous, that's one thing I would do. I would request that authors send me signed copies. But, uh, but I digress. So anyway, this book is definitely a thumbs up. You can get it free uh, as an Amazon Kindle. So go get yours. You can download a Kindle for any computer. And just enjoy this because it is a lot of fun. Anyway, just my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard.